Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> So in today's video, we are going to be talking about my May favorites. Yeah! I am so thrilled that May is over because that means we have now successfully entered the summertime season. Praise him. Summer is literally my favorite time of the year. Um, there's not one thing I hate about summer, not even one. There's not even one thing I dislike. About summer. Instead of just rambling on about how much I love summer, let me share with you uh, some of the products that I have been loving prior to entering said summertime. Okay? Okay. So we are going to talk about 10 products again. I feel like that's that's a good number to keep going with. My last um, two favorites videos, I believe I only had 10 and I feel like that's a good number. It's not too long. It's not too short of a video. You know, and 10 items, it's, it's not overwhelming. So uh, I'm going to stick with it. There's a piece of plastic in my shirt. All right, so let's get to talking about the 10 products that I have just been loving for the month of May. First up, let's just, let's just stick a hand out and grab. Gotcha. Ah, love this one. Obviously. The very first product that I want to talk about is this one right here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Soft Glow Palette. That's what she looks like right there. Give her a gander. I realize mine is disgusting and dirty, but uh, yeah, it's been love. I've already hit pan on one shade. <laughs> I just love this palette so much. You could do so many looks with it. It is just so versatile and gorgeous. I don't know. These are just my shades. Just everything about, like, can you see the sweater I'm wearing and, like, what it's on my eyes right now? Like, these are my shades. Everything about this palette is just perfect in my eyes and in my opinion. Uh, you can create so many looks with this palette. I use it pretty much every single day. And I've only hit pan on one shade, so we're going real good. I don't know what it is with this packaging, but I am about it. I'm here for this this packaging and I do not know why I love it so much. The next product is another eyeball product but it's so pretty. I've been so obsessed with this thing lately and I've had it for a while and I just kind of forgot about it. So this is the model's own, what are you actually called? The model's own color chrome eyeshadow. Let me unscrew the cap here. This is basically what it looks like. It is just this beautiful metallic like champagne color. Oh, it's just, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Let me, I'm trying to get a good swatch for you. I prefer to apply this with my finger. Um, I know you can apply it with a brush and there's actually a mixing medium that comes with this to, I'm assuming probably make it a little bit more metallic or foiled or what have you, but I, kind of, I like it just like this. So I don't have time to be mixing concoctions in the morning when I'm getting ready. So that's what it looks like right there. Just this beautiful champagne foiled color. It's very in your face and just Oh, I have it on today. Can you see it? I close my eyeballs. Can you see? Is it there? Yes? Okay. Get it off my hand because it's a little messy. It's a little bit on the messy side because it can get everywhere if you're not careful. I was told by an English woman that my English accent was very posh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hopefully good. <laughs> Probably not. Probably means I'm an asshole in English talk. So the next product that I want to share with you guys is this one right here. This has been my favorite foundation since ever? No. <laughs> for a couple weeks now and for the majority of this month. Um, I've had this foundation for a very long time. However, I kind of, I, I just go through a lot of foundations and you know, whenever you have a lot to pick from, you kind of just, you know, you forget about a few that you have. And whenever I grab this one again and I'm just like, Ugh, why did I ever, like literally ever stop using you? This is like the most perfect foundation on the planet. This is the YSL All Hours Foundation. It does have SPF. 20 in it so it's not the most photograph friendly foundation but I don't care <laughs> nope call me flashback Mary I do not care this is just so beautiful and I really don't have that much of a problem as far as flashback goes whenever I take pictures so I don't care mine is in the shade b50 which is honey the tiniest amount of foundation is sitting in the bottom of this when I use this product I literally have to unscrew it and like paint it onto my face with the little plastic thing on the inside like I am low but I love, love it let's just finish 
finish the makeup and then we'll go on to like the other category. So the very next product that I want to show you guys is this one right here. Let me take the cap off. Nope, I've literally twiddled it down to nothing. So this, uh, what is left of this is the Lottie London AM to PM Black coal liner. I like to put this down before I actually do liquid liner or like a wing liner or anything like that. And this is super creamy so it's really easy to like smudge on lash line and make it look like smoky and sultry. I also love putting this in the waterline because it actually, I mean for me, nothing stays in my waterline whatsoever including this. But it lasts the longest out of everything that I own as far as keeping it in the waterline. So in my opinion, that's a win, girl. And this is drugstore, so it's very, very affordable. I think I only paid like $7.99 for this thing, and when I got it, you know, it was like a normal size, like, pencil. And I've used almost all of it. The next two items are the same thing, essentially. Uh, they are Buxom Lip Glosses. This is who I'm talking about, these guys right here. They are in the shades Bellini and White Russian. White Russian was the very first one of these that I ever tried. This is actually the full on lip cream. It's essentially the lip plumping lip gloss by Buxom. Before I ever had my lips done forever ago, I would use this product all the time to try to give my lips that more pouty type look because I had nothing. <laughs> That's whenever I first discovered these lip glosses and I now own four. <laughs> but these two have been like my go-tos for this particular month. I don't know with the light being so bright. Um, if you guys can see, the one on top is White Russian and it is like almost completely out. I have a backup sitting in my drawer waiting for me. Let's watch them for you. God, they're so beautiful. And I really like these. And as far as plumping goes, it's not one of those where it's like it kind of burns or tingles or anything like that. It's a very like minty, like eucalyptus-y type feel. So I've tried other plumping glosses or things of that nature. And some of them just are like a really uncomfortable. And in my opinion, both of these are so comfy on the lips. Like I have, I love to wear them. These are what they look like. I mean, they're both they're both very sheer. This one right here is White Russian. It is definitely more pink based. And then this is Bellini right here, which is like a more coral, it's more orangey based type lip gloss. So I love both of them so much. I go back and forth usually whenever I'm wearing a nude to put on top to kind of help me reachieve the lips that I used to have prior to the filler completely dissolving. I use these to achieve it. Hmm. So the very last makeup type product is one that I know I have mentioned before but I have just been using it every single day with every single look that I do that it's just like it wouldn't be right not to mention it again. So what I'm talking about is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Facial Setting Spray. I love this stuff. You can set your face with it. You can make foily or metallic shadows even more intense. You can make your highlight more intense. You can just, I mean, it does so many wonderful things. It helps to make your foundation look more airbrushed. I showed you guys that. I showed you guys that technique whenever I uploaded my foundation routine. I will link that somewhere up here, so uh, keep an eye out for it. Uh, but go ahead and take a look at that to see exactly how I use it to kind of make my foundation look very airbrushed and just very flawless and natural looking. This product has so many uses and is so underutilized I feel like I don't know maybe it's just me but god I love you I've went through like five bottles of these the last three products are more skincare related this spring I've been working really hard on my skincare I feel like since we're going into summer and I'm going to be outside a lot more and hopefully poolside that I I want to go a lot more without makeup that's kind of my plan but I want my skin to look nice I want it to feel nice I want it to, you know I just I just want to have nice skin so I've really been taking my skincare seriously and three products that I would just have been obsessed with in the month of May is one right here. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. That's what it looks like right there. It comes in this super interesting, um, whatchamacallit. And it comes out of the center right there. I'm not gonna squeeze it because I don't want to waste any of it. It just feels so good on the skin. Like I, like you guys know, I've said 906 times now. I have very oily skin. However, I feel like as a night cream, this works phenomenally. I wouldn't use this underneath of my makeup because I feel like for my skin type it's a little bit too heavy and a little too moisturizing. Like I said as far as a night cream goes 
Golden, baby. Golden. Last two products. And I use these both kind of in conjunction with one another. So the very first product that I go in with is this one right here. It's the Bioderma... Uh, my cellar water. This is the one for oily skin. I really love it. I will just take it on a cotton round after I have already washed my face and just do mainly the uh, more porous areas of my face, like where I have really big pores, so mainly in my T-zone. I will take it around the outer perimeter just to make sure that I got all the makeup off, especially like in my hairline and whatnot. Whenever I go in with this, it just guarantees every inkling of anything ever. <laughs> in my skin is now removed and it is gone and uh, it's just so good. Alright, so the very last product that I want to show you guys is this one right here. I almost dropped it. <laughs> that would have sucked because this is glass. Uh, this is the Caudalie or Caudalie or Caudalat, whatever. Vino Perfect Essence. So this is essentially an essence that you apply as kind of like a toner type deal. What essence says <laughs> what essences do <laughs> is to basically just help anything that you apply to your skin, whether it be serums, moisturizers, what have you, really helps it to sink into the skin. Really helps it sink into the skin and just absorb a lot more intensely and a lot more deeply and just kind of gives you a better overall effect of your skin care. I have really been enjoying using this lately, especially after the Bioderma, to, after my skin is nice and clean, going in with this product and then applying whatever night or day skincare that I want to do. It just, it makes my face feel so supple and just so hydrated and, and clean and just good. It just makes your skin feel so freaking good. So this is another very pricey product, but I do not use a lot of it. Just a few like little drops on a cotton pad. Um, just mainly use it in like the big areas. <laughs> you aren't supposed to use it close to your eyes, so I do avoid that. However, like I said, I just don't use a lot of it. So this bottle is going to last me quite a long time. I've already had it for a very long time. I just wasn't utilizing it as much as I do now. So I don't know what I was sleeping on. I was the food. That's it guys, that's all of my favorites for the month of May. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell right next to that so you get notified every single time that I upload. Otherwise, YouTube will not tell you and you will be missing out. But leave me, I know videos that I've already filmed and oh, you want to stick around. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning into this one guys. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.